Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir Cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. Hello, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. Wish you a very happy new year. In this new year, I am so excited to introduce a modern cost-effective CAD solution with immense capabilities. Introducing BricsCAD. In fact, BricsCAD is an integrated CAD solution. There are a number of modules in it. There is shape, drafting, modeling, mechanical, BIM modules in it and you can also install a number of third-party application in the software to extend its capability to any desired levels. I'll give you a brief overview of each module after a short while. Interestingly, this software is completely based on the industry standard DWG file format, which is well known worldwide. If you want to own this software, you have two options. You can either subscribe it or you can buy it for a very reasonable pricing so that you will get a perpetual lifetime license. Now let's explore the software. I'll just launch BricsCAD version 20. Now you will get an interface to choose any desired module. You can either click on shape or any module of your choice which I have already mentioned. Using the shape module, you can shape your ideas in minutes and it's completely free. You can create 3D models of walls from concepts very fast and you can perform smart modeling and you can create doors, windows, profiles, etc. as you can see it in the illustration. And you can assign materials to these 3D models, put components uh, such as furnitures, people, landscaping, transportation etc at any desired locations on these 3D models very easily. You can also import 3D models from other sources onto the shape module. And above all the interface of the shape module is completely customizable. And you can design an interface which suits your requirement. You can open these 3D models in the BIM module of BricsCAD. Next, we will see the drafting module. Working in drafting and modeling modules of BricsCAD is super simple for an AutoCAD user because the interface of BricsCAD is very close to the interface of AutoCAD and you can use all the AutoCAD commands with which you are already familiar with in BricsCAD with the same ease. Let's see an example. So I'll click on drafting. Now I'll open a new drawing you can see that this interface is very close to the interface of AutoCAD and it's similar to the ribbon interface with panels and floating palettes. Now let's create this figure. We have already created this figure in AutoCAD and if you haven't tried it yet, I have provided links at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. Please find the link at the comment section to download this figure. Now I'll create the center circle, so I'll click on circle center radius method i'll give the specify the center point as 0 comma 0 and the radius as 17.5 now i'll give an enter and double tap the scroll wheel to bring the circle within the center of the screen and just zoom out next i'll repeat the circle command with the center radius the center point of the next circle is at 35 comma 35 and with the same radius so give an enter. Now again enter to repeat the circle command. The center point is at the second quadrant. So minus 35 comma 35. And give an enter to specify the radius. Now give one more enter to exit the circle command. The center point of the next circle is at minus 35 comma minus 35 because it's in the third quadrant. And the same radius. Now give one more enter, center at 35 comma minus 35 and the same radius. Next you can go to fillet command, 
So I'll select fillet from the modify panel and I'll click on radius. I'll specify radius of 22 units as it is given in the figure. Next I'll click on the multiple option of fillet command. Then first object, second object, first, second, first, second, first, second and give an enter. Next I'll perform trim. So I'll select trim from the modify panel then just give an enter and select the object to be trimmed. Hence I have completed the figure. Now the procedure and commands are exactly the same as we have already tried in AutoCAD. I hope now we have got an idea about how easy to switch over from AutoCAD to BricsCAD. Next we will see the modeling module. I'll launch BricsCAD and I'll click on the modeling module. And I'll open a drawing file which is created in AutoCAD. And when you go through the interface, you can see that it is very close to the 3D modeling interface of AutoCAD. We have the Home tab, Solid tab, Surface, Mesh, etc. And you also have tabs which is seen in the 3D modeling interface of AutoCAD. I have already saved a view in this drawing while creating it in AutoCAD. I would like to restore that view. So I'll click on the Visualize tab and here you will see all the preset views as well as the view which I have saved. The view was saved in the name S1. Just click on that. So that particular view will get restored. Now I would like to change its visual style. For that you can click on the pop-up in the visual style panel. So just click on that and I'll choose shaded with edges. You can hold down the shift key and press the scroll wheel of the mouse to orbit the view the way you do it in AutoCAD. Now you can even render the model by clicking on the render button. Now render destination you can select it can be viewport window or file I'll choose window and I would like to choose the same resolution as that of the current viewport which is the full HD resolution. So just give OK. Now you can see how fast it is rendering the model. From this it's clear that rendering in Bricks CAD is much more faster than other CAD softwares. So that was just an overview of how an AutoCAD model can be opened in Bricks CAD, change the view, visual styles and perform rendering. Hope you have got an idea. All the 3D modeling commands in AutoCAD can also be used in Bricks CAD with the same ease. We will explore the mechanical and BIM modules in the coming tutorials. Hope you have enjoyed this video. I am sure that you will find every reason to download and test the software. Please find the link to download a 30 day trial version at the description section of this video. So that's all for now. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it. And until I catch you in another video on BricsCAD. Bye bye, take care. May God bless you all.